I have an unboxing today. Just got this in from Lightning Source. I know what it is because I've been kind of obsessively tracking it. Oh. Let me get the paperwork out of here before I even open it. Nope, I just pushed it right back into the box exactly what I didn't want to do. So, what have I got? Well, you know, there's a big online community now for tabletop gaming that's, I think, thriving and doing some wonderful stuff. When I was first in RPGs, you know, it felt like a, it felt like a hobby of scattered loners, but the internet has brought us together in new ways, and that includes overseas and the whole bit, and it includes stuff like, it's like a step up from self-publishing, it's, it's, it's hard to explain. You have stuff like the Miskatonic uh, repository. Um, and you get stuff like uh, Viral. Uh, this is by uh, two people, including one of them is Bud from Bud's RPG Reviews. Uh, and the other is uh, Alex, uh, I'll never say it right, but Goyette, maybe? Uh, here's our credits. And this is a Call of Cthulhu scenario set in the modern day. And from what I understand, it really makes excellent use of its modern setting. Um, using using technology, not just <clears throat> not just trying to work around technology, as a lot of contemporary horror movies will do, where <coughs> Pardon me. Where instead of uh, yeah, you have people who are um, isolated, so you make their cell phones not work and all this sort of thing. Well, from what I understand, this actually really makes use of technology, and I think that that's great. Uh, it's got full color with photographs. And this is a this is a nice looking book. You know, it's not super cheap for this print on demand version of it. Uh, it's a little more than I normally pay for uh, for for books. But I will say that this is a really well presented, uh, very visually exciting looking book here. So uh, I'm definitely ready to dive in. Uh, I got the hardcover because honestly, once you Usually, upgrading to hardcover is not uh, a, a huge additional expense. So, so, also, I don't know, something about drive through RPG lately, they've been moving a lot quicker. Uh, I got this much faster than I really kind of expected. A lot of handouts, a lot of handouts. Pre-generated characters, and yes, it's nice. And I see this more, I think, from the Miskatonic repository stuff. Fully presented, pre-generated characters. Uh, one of the things that's uh, I'm finding a bit annoying about the official Chaosium stuff is that they give you very attractive pre-generated characters that are not fully presented. Uh, character sheets, so, you know, with front and back, with the information on front and back, and that means that, you know, if you really want to, to run the game and you want to have the full experience, you have to go then and transfer all that information over to a character sheet, and, I mean, yeah, okay, it's not that much of it, but it's, like, come on, guys, you know, let me, let me download a fully done character sheet that I can hand to my players, uh, anyhow, uh, um, here we have a blank character sheet, too. So this is very nice. You can get some swag. Nice. So yeah, that's my first little look at this. I, I think it looks great. 
I, I've heard a lot of very positive, uh, positive things back from people who have had a chance to play it. I, I'm going to be fully honest here. I have no idea when I'm going to be able to get this to my table, um, considering how rarely I get any gaming going at all. Uh, and this is not necessarily on the top of, of my uh, to-run list, although I'm really interested in it. I hope maybe, if all goes well, maybe I can actually make it to a local game convention next year and maybe somebody will be running it. That would be ideal. Um, but we'll see. Um, until I get a chance to actually read it and or play it, uh, this is viral. It's my first look at viral. So check this out. Uh, you can check it out on Drive Through RPG and order yourself a copy. Take care, everybody.